Okay, guys, in this video, I'm going to be talking about Tuk Attack. Oh my gosh. So, this is my experience with the program. Upon opening it, um, it looks pretty much the same. It looks almost like Optitex or Gerber would look. Um, a little bit different from the Gerber system, but looks very close to very similar to Optitex to the point where it was easy for me to navigate being an Optitex user. These are the file types that you get. Um, they're Tuca file types. So you get, uh, with certain subscriptions, you will only have access to uh, the Tuca files. I will explain to you when we go through the, um, the website, the different subscription levels and what you're able to get with it. Um, for this test, I was able to uh, get the highest version of it for a little while. So I was able to open up DXF uh, patterns. So I was able to import and export DXF patterns with the Tuca Design CAD Professional Edition. Pay attention because these prices will be shown at the end. But yes, so you will be able with that edition to open up the uh, DXF files that you may already have, as well as drafting patterns from uh, scratch. So this is a file that I had. Uh, this is one of the dresses I did uh, in uh, browseware. It's like a little asymmetrical brown dress. You probably see that on my Instagram in a walking animation. But for this one, I used it just to take a look at the pattern and take a look at some of the um, parameters of the pattern and see, you know, how easy it was to navigate within the within the program and how all of the points come in and how all of the um, just the little nuances of pattern making. I wanted to see what the import was like. So this is a, I'm just going through a couple of different files. So that one was a top. This one is now a dress. You can uh, same as many pattern programs have your one inch one to one inch grid so that you can align things up and you can measure things and this is usually used for drafting um, I didn't quite like how the notch points came in so um, yeah they kind of came in I guess with the seam allowance you're able to turn seams on and off you're able to add your grid and align you know snap alignment is there just like any other pattern making program like i said an optitex or something like that would be um it is intuitive if you know how to use these pattern making programs if not fortunately they have a uh they have a tutorial website so they have a educational website that you know walks you through all of the nuances and um, how to use the program and everything that's available for the program. Um, it is good. Um, I did start taking it. I probably will finish taking it this month just to uh, have more knowledge of how to use the program. Okay, so it wasn't hard to like add points and, uh, you know, add my darts, move things over, delete things. It's pretty much easy to work with. Um, I did start with uh, patterns I know that were fit, you know, fit already to my size six avatar. 
I say size six, I also mean um, the Alvanon form six. That's pretty much what I use. So um, right now I'm showing you that they have a library. So I started opening up their library just to see what their actual patterns looked like. So their patterns come in uh, with, you get like a few blocks when you sign up. And um, they don't look shaped the best, but they come in with seam allowance and they come in with everything marked. Like I said, um, the import is a little bit different. So they do treat DXF imports a little bit different. Some of the points and notches come out a little bit more so. Um, right now I'm just measuring the pattern to see if it is really a size six and uh, to see how this actually works with the measuring tool. So I can give measurements, uh, spec measurements for line curves. I could give spec, spec measurements for, um, you know, armhole curves, you know, um, basically when you measure a pattern in this way, it gives you the curve measurement as well as giving you the um, straight measurement. So you'll be able to do both and, um, you know, that's intuitive to CAD pattern making programs. So basically I'm trying to figure out how can I export this to test it out? It looks a little strange as far as the shape to me. So this is their own block that probably fits their own 3D avatars. So the 3D program at Tupka Tech um, is compared to a Clo or browser slightly primitive. Um, I would say that they have started and been around for a long time, but I think the 3D is not something that's like totally developed uh, as far as what's happening now in 3D. Yeah, like look at the shape of that armhole. Like that's just weird to me. Like why would it be so bulging out like that and not a smooth line? So this is a pattern. If I wanted to use it, I would put it into Clo and see uh, what it looked like actually on the body. So um, things that you, you need to be mindful of for Tuka Tech is when using their blocks, you might be able to get a good starting point uh, and good measurements for a basic block, but actually it'd be better to export it and fit it. Um, as you can see, my front. Sorry, excuse me. My front is on the right hand side and the back is on the left. Um, these are mirrored patterns. So basically one would have uh, been cut with the center back and one would be on the fold. You can't really see the lines right now, but um, I believe the uh, dash line, where the dash line is, is my half point for sewing it with two separate pieces. So this is another pattern that I opened up. And uh, this is a little bit more of a completed pattern. As you can see, it has all of the annotations on it. There's when you open up their block, didn't really have any information on it. Like that's for you to actually put in. Um, it's not difficult to put it in, but you know, if it's a block pattern, it should have some kind of information on it to tell you a little bit about what's going on, like what the fabrication was uh, or what, you know, yeah anyway so <laughs> that pattern didn't have any upper body darts or upper body uh, measurements so i don't know what it would have fit like i don't think i exported it i think it turned me off a little bit to uh be a woven garment obviously with a waist dart and not with any kind of neck dart or any kind of neck shaping so I went to a pattern that I know or familiar with. And like I said, when you import the pattern, sometimes you get a lot more points than you would in another program. So as I can see here, like my notches came out to the side and I got like way more points than needed. So this would be a pattern that I would have to clean up, especially if I was using browseware. I definitely have to clean up this pattern. Um, if I was probably going into Optitex with this pattern, which I wouldn't use both of, uh, Tuka Tech and Optitex, like that doesn't make sense. But, um, if I was going to send it to someone that might have only Optitex, 
they might get a lot less points because uh, Optitext is a little more intuitive when it comes to translating curved points and translating points. But you also as a pattern maker should know how to clean that up. So right now I'm just going through measuring, measuring the pattern and measuring and seeing if this is actually going to be a good fitable pattern. I'm trying to see if their measurements are giving me full measurements or is it uh, can I get the POMs? Can I extract the POMs without the dart measurements or, you know, with just figuring out what the actual pattern measures. So I am taking note of this right now because they have another part of the system that is called, uh, automated pattern, automated pattern making. I think it's APM. I think it stands for automated pattern making. I'll probably throw up, uh, the visual here so you guys can see excuse me for yawning so with that being said I wanted to get measurements so that I could try to grade it automatically and I could try to uh, change the size automatically that's what the automatic grading is that kind of turned me on because a lot of uh, pattern software does not have that ability to do like made to measure pattern adjustments so if i wanted to if i had a customer and i wanted to change the waist size i could do uh apm is what it's called yeah automatic pattern marking or making automatic pattern making hey apm so with the APM, I wanted to give it a try and I wanted to get some measurements out to see what it's like and how to, how to actually use it. Like I said, a lot of pattern making companies don't do the automatic, which it would seem almost simple that it's a formula that changes. When you're doing pattern, uh, parametric pattern making, you have the ability to do that. In one of my previous posts, I mentioned Seamly 2D, which I'm going to actually go through and try that. Um, Seamly 2D is, is great. So right here, I'm trying to put in the uh, measurements that I measured so that I can see what and how it changes. So I'm putting in my base size six and I'm changing the colors and just making sure that everything is linked up in order to be able to change the measurements. But like I said, when you are using a, a parametric based point system to make patterns, you're able to import or input any measurement you want and you can change any measurement you want because it works with formulas. So it would seem uh, almost second nature that a CAD program will be able to do the same thing. But a lot of the programs that are out now, i.e. Optitex and, you know, Gerber Electra, what all, what all, what all pro programs right now, Tuka Tech was the only one that I found that actually marketed and created a system that can change your points, your grade points, and your graded points and actually change them to be different sizes. It's not grading it's kind of making a custom pattern. So now here is one of their library patterns that I'm going to actually go ahead and export. Um, the APM system has a link of like all different, um, a link to like the block patterns that they're able to uh, adjust. So it gives you like a taste of what you're actually going to get. So look how nice and clean this pattern is. And I'm going to make a size six. I'm going to go from a size four to a size six, I believe. So yeah, waist. Yeah, so I'm just making little changes and then it's automatically going to generate those changes on my pattern. I was like, wow, this is fantastic, right? This is wonderful, great. However, this is only for, like I said, the professional edition. The APM is twice as much as the professional edition. So you will not get the APM unless you're paying two to three times more. So you have to really have a client base in order to do this. To me, it, it is such a waste of uh, money if you're not doing this because you have so many clients and so many orders and so many things that you need to tweak and change and do. Um, otherwise, you can just do your regular pattern maker, making and make your pattern 
and do it that way. This way is a lot of input data. Like I just went ahead and made a brand new pattern. So I, this is me playing with it. I did not know exactly how it was supposed to be done. So basically when you input the measurements, it gives you the pattern. So what I did first, which was my mistake on this. So this is what you're seeing while you're seeing duplicate pieces is because I went ahead and opened the pattern first. So with the system, you don't have to open it because whatever measurements you put in, it's going to automatically do that. Whatever measurements you want to change in that part of the system, it will go ahead and generate the pattern for you. So you don't have to open it first. You could just go to the library, edit it, and then come back out and do it, which is really great. But, you know, I did it wrong here. So, <laughs> um, and also I only put three sizes for grading just so I could see that it changes the grade as well as changes the, um, it changes the grade as well as changing the measurement. And I'm going to go ahead and import the pattern. I'm going to open up my size six, which all the measurements I just entered were based on the size six. I'm going to find that pattern and I'm going to go ahead and say import pattern, pattern annotations. I don't have to swap lines because I didn't really do any seam allowance. Oh yes, I did do seam allowance. So now I have the swap line. So I could just get rid of the seam allowance line. Now look at this. This is a problem for Clo as far as communicating with other pattern programs. There's no curve points. So no matter where I had my curve points, all the curve points are going to have to go ahead and the points are there, but I have to go ahead and make the points into curve points. I have to translate everything into curve points. So that was a little bit inconvenient. So as far as a review, I would say that that was a, a negative point or a downside to having the program, especially using it with an outside 3D program. If you want to use it within Tuka Tech, uh, their 3D program is about $10,000. So you can make your choice from that if you got it and go for it you don't have to take it into another outside program but if not you can also just change those points uh intuitively in clo to curve points which i end up doing and everything should work the same as it was so let's just watch this and i'm going to come back and uh talk to you about the rest
Okay, so now as you can see, just changing the points and uh, making a few adjustments and sewing the garment together, it does fit. However, it doesn't look how I would want it to look if I were just making it myself. So, that being said, in concept it does work but you will have to go ahead and tweak it. So now I'm tweaking it after sewing, which I probably should have tweaked it first, but I wanted to see what it would look like sewn together without me messing with it. The darts are a little bit low. I feel like all of the baselines are in the right place, which is good. Um, the sleeves, the sleeves look too full to me or too straight. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just like make sure I change all of these points. So like I said, it would heavily depend on what this block was based on, like the body shape. You guys know I always preach this. The measurements matter, but the body that it's draped on also matters. So it does sort of look like the little thumbnail picture that they have um, with the sleeves being so long and big. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm changing the cap height, so I'm going to go ahead and do another pattern, but I'm going to change some of these things that I'm seeing, um, which it's good for that too, because you can go in and edit your measurements and then boom, you get another pattern out. If it wasn't so expensive, I would get it for just that reason, because I can go in and edit the pattern, um, in a CAD system because... As you can see, it handles the lines a little bit differently. So now I'm going to go ahead and just export the new pattern and just use the sleeve. I believe that's what I did. Okay, so now we get into the good part. Cost. <laughs> the APM, <clears throat> the lowest APM price you saw, it was like $3.99. Now these um, prices that are posted here are the bottom bottom tier of that edition so in the edition if you go into the edition there are tiers within the edition so the professional edition in order to export patterns and make markers <laughs> I'm going to show you because Tuka designer is the one that's just like you can download patterns and again you're downloading these patterns in the Tuka CAD format. These patterns are like $5. And they're based off their block patterns or whoever is the pattern maker making, making these patterns. But they're only in eDesign or Tuka Design, meaning these are Tuka files. These are not downloadable generated files that you can use in other programs or that you can manipulate. There's always a way around it. However, there's not a native export. These are their avatars. So I wanted to kind of look and see what these body shapes are like. Um, to me, I think they were working on Jamie because her bust point looks pretty low. Um, so you can pick the avatar that you want to use. And that avatar is $500. The avatar, you heard, you heard me. To download the avatars, $500 to use in the 3D program of Tuka Cat. And to Tuka Cat is um, almost $10,000. So <laughs> maybe it comes with the program. I didn't get that far. I don't know. So now here, I'm, I'm ordering the Tuka Designer Edition because I want to try it out and see what this uh is all about because it's like oh for five dollars you can get this and you could design you can go ahead and get a basic dress and uh you can put your print fabric on it and you can edit it uh so that you can show it for your presentation so this i was like okay okay so me not realizing i did get the that Part of it so that I can go ahead and do it um, so I'm installing it only to realize 
that you can't change the styling. You can't change the style lines. You can add a print. You can add a colorway. You can add all these different things. But you can't change the style line. So for print concept, maybe it's good. To put a logo placement, maybe it's good. But if you have a specific style line that you're trying to achieve, then that Tuka designer is not not it. This is their educational program. Like I said, it's free for 30 days. Get an account. This woman's very nice. She helped me out a lot. Um, and basically, you can learn it. Just go ahead and learn it. You know, maybe you'll get a, a customer that will help pay for the, the monthly subscription. Make your money. Do your thing. Learn what you have to learn in order to get in this industry. You get a certificate at the end. And boom, you're done. I mean, I'm going to go ahead and get my certificate this month, July 2021. And um, and that's going to be that. So, the Tuca design, let's go back and check this out. Because I'm like, okay. Like, yeah, you can change it in Photoshop. But it's not a pattern. So, you can do the layout, but you it's not... Uh, a freestanding pattern so okay if I'm wrong I will definitely come back after this video and say I was wrong but I do not think that I am wrong because it says e pat e design took a CAD file and I believe the e design is for the designer specifically I'm going to open up that program right now so you can see what this designer looks like. Yada, 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 sis, boom, bada. <clears throat> Professional edition is for the pattern making. You see that's $4.99 a month for the APM module. So right now, this other Tuka designer is uh, $29 a month. And this is what you get. This is your 3D workspace. You do not have the ability to change patterns and I will eat my hat if, it's, if I'm wrong, so. Let's just take a walk through here. I'm going to open up the t-shirt that I downloaded. Basic t-shirt. Long T. You get a triangulated mesh. And you get, uh, what do you call it? Your different pattern pieces. You can select each piece front back sleeve neckline uh that whole thing so you'll be able to change all the colors so right now i'm going to go ahead and work through the color files and then i'm going to add a print so basically you can concept colorways you can add graphics you can add prints but you cannot change the pattern or the style so that's what got me. If you need a tool like this, $29 is great. You can go ahead and uh, mock up a few things. If you have, you want to show a client a scale of a print, you want to show a client a scale of, of uh, or how the colorways work together, it might be workable. Otherwise, I don't, I don't know what, I wouldn't know what to do. And that's it, guys. I'm going to sign off here because the video is long enough. No matter how much I try to speed through this whole situation, in order to explain the whole program and how it works in this little short clip, that's the best I could do. Okay? Enjoy your summer, guys. Thanks for listening. And comment. Make sure you comment, guys. I put these videos out, I put time in, I want to hear some feedback from you guys and how you, what you think about it and, uh, you know, start some controversy. <laughs> anyway, bye.